about to board them up. No. Hi. So we're about leaving and in about apparently the flight is for Abuja and Kaduna. So we're going to Kaduna. So when we land, I'll take more. I don't know my fellow friends say, what's this guy doing? What's this guy doing? He's not even first class and she's leaving, you know. So boy. For my brother's personal parade, he well, thank God, after five years, he is now a celebrated because we all celebrate him, celebrated officer of the Nigerian Army. Woohoo! So this is me talking about my experiences. Um, first of all, when I was going to Kaduna, I had I didn't have doubts because that was my first time. I've been to Kaduna several years before. When my dad was still in the army, we used to go visit him, we used to stay in the barracks in Jaji. And it was always a good experience. And when I was living in Abuja, I used to go visit my brother during the weekends when he had time. And you know, I, I had to have time, I didn't have a choice, I had to go see my brother. So going to Kaduna was just like, okay, I'm going back. But I don't really know Kaduna. Because normally when I go there, I just go for my business and then go back. But this was another reason or another opportunity for me to get to know the place. So after planning for weeks and weeks and weeks, I finally got ready. And then we called my brother's friend, David, who was helping us, you know, do some arrangements and planning. And then, you know, we knew we were about coming and he tells us the funniest thing. He says, they are fighting you. Mr. Rinze, bring your voice down. Thank you very much. <laughs> he calls and tells us that they are fighting in town. Oh. Now, anybody who's been following the news will know that right now in the country, there is um, agitation. Okay, so anybody who's been paying attention at this moment, in September 2017. Mr. Rizzo, I'm waiting for you to go because your voice is very loud. Uh -huh. When you come back, <laughs> what did you bring for me from the weekend? Uh, you said I should go now. <laughs> so, uh, I'm sorry for that short break. Um, well, like I was saying, like I was saying, anybody who's been paying attention would know that right now in the country there is agitation between, well, there is agitation. Let's just leave it like that. So, in response to what has been going on in the Southeast, the Northerners are retaliating, so to say. So, on, Sun, on Friday, he calls and tells us, ah, there's agitation, no, we don't know what to do, but anyway, we're in the barracks, just find a way to the barracks, things will be okay. And I was really worried. But, thanks to God, it wasn't what, you know, it wasn't what, we were hoping or we were thinking considering considering how we usually get especially because Kaduna is always a very hot zone so luckily for us it wasn't like that and it was peaceful we got to KD on Friday evening it was nice got to the hotel you know but because we were skeptical about how it was going to be we didn't go out so I didn't have the opportunity to go and you know see the sights and sounds of Kaduna like I had any plan but I met with my cousin on Sunday afternoon and then he was telling me that they actually do have clubs in Kaduna. I did not think that they would have clubs in Kaduna. But there are clubs in Kaduna. Obviously there are lounges. There are different things and I didn't get to see it because of the way the thing was, because of the unrest. But hopefully I will go back and have fun and see those clubs. I'm really interested in seeing what clubs in Kaduna will be like. I lived in Abuja for like two years and it was good. It was really good. 
they had everything. Abuja actually is one of those cities that you just be like, hmm. It's like Lagos, it's like Port Harcourt, it's like a metropolitan city. So when I got to Kaduna, I was expecting, you know, normally because of the tribe of people that stay there, the houses are usually very reserved, they are very religious minded. You know, I was surprised when I heard that they are closed. I'm like, hey. And my brother's friend was a core member, so you should trust everything coppers tell you. When they go to a place, they maximize the opportunity. So if they come by telling that there are clubs somewhere and strip clubs, strip clubs in Kaduna, I know, like, yes. But sadly, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get there before he leaves. So I probably would have to find another guide. But so these are a few clips of the things that happen in Kaduna. You have to stay tuned for the full video of the PFP experience because I had fun and I'm very proud. I'm like the proudest sister ever. My brother is an officer. If you find my trouble, I'm going to give you. Okay, he has warned me not to say that. <laughs> but that's good to say. So thanks for watching this really short clip about my journey to Kaduna. Be sure to like, give me a thumbs up and of course subscribe and you know, stay tuned. There's going to be more. Yeah, enjoy the clips though. Bye. The sounds of Kaduna. It's like so dark. I haven't guessed it. Yes, I know. Lagos is why I like so much before.